Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac, episode uh, 330,000 plus infinity. Uh, I am going to be doing a vanilla run today, and I know people are going to be mad. People are always mad when I do vanilla runs, but maybe uh, the fact that we have Eve will compensate for that just a little bit. Man, why is the frame rate so framey? In any case, why are we doing a vanilla run? This is uh, the first time in a long time I have exhausted my Isaac backlog. Now, I've just gotten back from... Uh, a short vacation in San Francisco, so I am rusty with respect to Isaac. I've been playing a lot of Spelunky before I left, and uh, beyond that, rusty with respect to commentary as well. So if I start, you know, accidentally going on tirades about, you know, Occupy New York, wow, I am so with the times, as you can tell. I'm trying to think of an aged conspiracy, but unfortunately not. Whatever, did we really land on the moon? I don't even know what we're doing at this point. Yeah, if I start going off on weird tangents like the one that just became a self-fulfilling prophecy, then, uh, Hopefully, you know, I have your forgiveness given the circumstances, but I'm looking to get back in the groove here. And what better way than with a trial by fire by playing as everybody's least favorite character. You know her, you love to hate her, it's Eve! Well, unfortunately, uh, you know, not my favorite character in the game. In fact, up there among my least favorite, although I will admit she is a, um, she's improving in my rankings. Not necessarily because she's very good because I still think she's really bad, uh, but because my opinion of Samson has dwindled pretty significantly over the past few runs. Now, you know, I've, I've won a lot of those runs where my opinion of Samson has dwindled. I'm gonna go back and get that spirit heart after we fight the boss, never you fear. Uh, but, uh, you know, I've been getting some lessons from BizSnap, at least in informally, uh, when I stream and when we talk, and he's been telling me, you know, you know, you overrate Samson, you think he's much better than he is, and, you know, I'm gonna give everybody their fair shake that was the worst damage. That's why I left the spirit heart there. Uh, give everyone their fair shake on a quantitative level. Now, I just want to check on something. Uh, you know, we'll check on it when we leave. This is fine. Let's go fight our first boss, and hopefully we'll be okay. So it's been the first time I've played Isaac in, like, jeez, I don't know. We might be looking at a week and a half, a week at this point. Which is not that long, but it's long enough that I'm feeling a little bit rusty. You know, I've actually got to tell my left hand and right hand what to do. Uh, as opposed to just letting nature take its course. That kind of sounded like a euphemism for masturbating towards the end there, and I apologize for that. And by apologize for that, I mean, we're cool, right? Uh, I just wanted to use a bomb to speed things up just a little bit here. It actually didn't do as much as I thought it would, so I'm probably better off holding onto these bombs to use them for some kind of, uh, you know, the consumable pickup if I can trade these bombs to get more bombs, or uh, I guess ideally more keys, because in my circumstance right now, I am a little bit key bereft, unfortunately, and obviously that dude will now be tweeting me. The dude who runs the 75 Northern Lion novelty Twitter accounts. You think that's an exaggeration? I believe that there is a, a Northern Lion novelty Twitter account empresario out there. He, he runs dozens of them at a time. He's got, you know, machine servers dedicated to his tweet deck needs. Uh, and so we pick up our speed upgrade. What was I going to, uh, get here? By the way, if you want to be one of those, uh, Twitter empresarios, twitter.com slash northernlionlp, follow me for insane ramblings, much like the ones you're experiencing right now. Uh, I was just checking to see if there was another tinted rock that I had missed up there, but luckily it appears that this is the only one, or that was the only one, because I, uh, recently exploded it. And you know what? First floor... Homing bombs, plus five bombs, and a speed upgrade is a pretty bad draw, especially as Eve, obviously. Uh, oh my god, Curse of Darkness again. We are going to need some more uh, upgrades on the uh, offensive, defensive, or tanky side uh, to hopefully hook us up a little bit here. I mean, it's like we're playing on RPG, we're playing like Diablo or something like that, and you, you know, you got strength, dexterity, uh, vitality, and I forgot the other one. We, we didn't really get any statistical upgrades on the last one. We got a little bit of extra vitality, but it's just a buff. It's not necessarily a, a, a bonus. Uh, we will take this pill because we're a little bit desperate for something right now. Tears down. Pretty much the opposite of what I just requested the Isaac Gods to pay out with. And we still have zero keys. And this is, uh, you know, already kind of a, a tipping point for us. We will see if maybe things will tip in the wrong direction or this key can turn things around for us by giving us the Black Bean, which... You know, quite honestly, is not that good, but it does put us in a position as Eve where when we take damage, we're pretty strong. We're almost better off uh, taking damage than not taking damage because Dead Bird and the Black Bean put us in a position where we can actually kind of be offensively potent in the, our most uh, defensively vulnerable position. Now, we did accidentally find the secret room. If we can get a second key and some money in there, might be able to make the shop worthwhile and pick up something that would make my uh, life a lot happier right now. Nine cents. Okay, so we're going to get up to 18 cents, which is pretty great uh, this early on. But obviously, without a, 
uh, key, there's not much we can do, and I could possibly use a bomb to bomb my way in. But it's, uh, I wouldn't necessarily say a risky pickup, but it's a, it is a risk to a certain extent. Uh, because I do not have the, uh, I can't see the map in front of me, so I have no idea. Now, we'll, we'll talk about what's going on in this arcade in a second. I just want to see if maybe, uh, first things first, I, I want to go and maybe get a, a deal with the devil in here, if possible. Now, uh, as much as I would love to use a bomb on pin, our bomb situation is pretty good. Uh, but I don't want to use a bomb on pin. Because he could accidentally bomb himself, and his HP is relatively low as is. Uh, and of course we are hoping for some kind of damage, health, or tears increase from this boss. Uh, as the boss room item. Otherwise, uh, you know, what, what else could I get? Another speed upgrade, a range upgrade, those, uh, you know, they don't really pay dividends just yet. Unless maybe we end up getting a range upgrade plus lump of coal, but for now, uh, raw damage, raw offensive, or, uh, you know, raw defensive uh, abilities. The main thing of what I'm looking for. There we go. Pin is bombed himself, so we're getting closer to the end of this boss fight. Now, it's also possible that this deal with the devil uh, will turn things around for me drastically. If we get one, if we get a deal with the angel, you know, by all means, free items. So there's an HP upgrade, which we cannot reroll, so obviously we'll pick it up. And in here we have Guppy's head and Guppy's tail, neither of which I particularly want. So, why don't uh, we try at this point... Uh, we're gonna try to get the blood bag, obviously, that, that's something I'm excited about, but mostly I was just looking for keys, and we did actually get uh, paid out with that in the form of three of them already, which is actually awesome for us. Now, I don't want to play until I get down, I don't want to play the blood bank, I should say, until I get down to, like, only one uh, half heart, because I think that would be a little too risky. That, I wish that paid out, but it didn't. So, you know what, if, if we pick up the IV bag, this was a trick that I believe uh, Namastak, oh, I guess we'll just hold on to this, that Namastak taught me. Uh, YouTube.com slash Namastak, N-A-M-A-Z-T-A-K. Uh, he does a bunch of, like, Binding of Isaac tip videos. He taught me that, uh, if you get an IV bag from a blood bank, then you should continue to play all of the blood banks for the rest of the game, because you, uh, they have a 100% ch chance to eventually drop a blood bag. So that's good news. Um, we, we can hopefully snag some more HP upgrades for ourselves later, but for now, uh, pretty good. We're in a much better position than we used to be, especially given the uh, amount of money we have and the fact that we might be able to get something from the shop. The extra two spirit hearts are pretty valuable. I know we, you know what, let's, let's do it. Let's check out the curse room. Uh, it ended up not being that valuable for us, but that's okay. It was worth a try. You never know. Maybe you'll get Brimstone or something like that in there. And we have accidentally given ourselves Horror Babylon, which we can use for a, a little while here. Now, the big thing, of course, is that we have so many keys. Uh, with this many keys and this many bombs, I think it is uh, a no-brainer that we are going to want to pick up the map in this situation. And hopefully we stop getting Curse of Darkness. So, how do things look now? Slightly better, but uh, certainly we're not in a uh, fantastic and utterly one position by any stretch of the imagination. The good news is we have enough HP to facilitate a deal with the devil at some point later. IV bag is pretty bad, uh, but we can bomb our way into every single secret room for the rest of the game, assuming our bomb situation holds up, which means... Uh, that we should be able to buy lots of good items from the shops. Hopefully things that will, uh, you know, eventually allow us to do more damage or get more health, like Book of Revelations, uh, Nun's Habit 9 Volts, uh, or the battery, etc, etc. Now, I really desperately need to also improve the rate of fire that I have here, or my damage, because I'm firing so goddamn slow. Now, firing slowly is not necessarily terrible if you have, uh, Polyphemus or something like that, but, uh, since we do not, then it actually is pretty bad for us in this situation. So, uh, I was thinking that maybe this was a uh, an area where we might find a special room. Instead, it is just kind of a dead end, but that's fine. We may go to every room, but just to start with, I want to uh, make sure that we're going to uh, the most important rooms, not risking our health too much unless it's utterly necessary. Can't even get to that. Uh, we can play the IV bag once, and I would probably do that before the boss room if our health holds, just to give us the Whore of Babylon for that, which will speed things up, and probably ultimately result in me taking less damage, which is uh, the main value in that, I suppose. Now we'll slowly whittle down these bomb flies, because I want to not be here when they start to explode. Uh, and if we can get them all... Oh, God. Okay, they're getting some weird kind of brownie in motion going on here. That was very close. Uh, keep it up. Yep, uh, that had to happen. Now, hopefully they'll explode at least. 
that ended up not being super fantastic. But anyway, there's our boss fight. Do we want to go to the boss fight straight away? Not really, and here, here's my reasoning for not going to the boss fight straight away. We have enough keys to open the item room in the shop, and uh, we only have like one... That was so terrible. We only have one more room to go until we actually... Uh, or two more rooms to go until we can see all of them due to the structure of the level here, so... Uh, I don't really see how it could be a bad thing for us to at least go check them out. Maybe we'll be able to kill them faster. We'll check out our shop, and if the shop's bad, we can go play that uh, Judgment and hopefully find ourselves in a slightly better position. Obviously, um, probably my number one target here is going to be this red turret. And if you're saying, like, why are you killing so slowly? It's partly because Eve's base damage is really bad, and partly because we did get that, um... Tears downgrade from a pill, just incredibly bad luck. Now, if we could just kill one of these guys, I would be the happiest man in the world. There, oh my god, and I took more damage. It's this is what I mean. This is the quintessential example of whenever I say, "What is it? he only has like a hitbox on one side of him or something?" That was really unusual. Whenever I say, um, you know, the more damage you you do, the less damage you'll take, this is what I want you to remember, is us doing so little damage now, largely due to Eve's low base damage and terrible rate of fire, due to the tears downgrade that we got. Um, this is causing us to take, or causing me, I should say, I'll, I'll take ownership for it, causing me to take so much bad damage, simply because I have to be on my uh, A game with respect to dodging for so, so long. But anyway, we're, we're fine right now. High Priestess is going to help us out a lot. Uh, D20 will take, and we'll use this at some point. There is a judgment. Maybe we can get good use out of it there. Uh, IV bag. Sorry, I'm not sorry to see you go. And Mom's purse, which I want, but at the same time, I don't want to spend money on. And we can't really do much. Okay, I mean, I do want Mom's purse, but we don't have the money for it, so... I think I'll go play this judgment instead, and you know what? Honestly, uh... I'm okay with picking up this half heart and the money here. We need the health is the thing. We'll play the judgment. It's possible that the judgment will pay out with something amazing quickly. That would be ideal, but you know, our money situation should be pretty good because of our uh, easy access to secret rooms. I am going to pick up keys. If there's single pennies on the ground, I might leave them for rerolls. Uh, but keys are pretty valuable, so I don't want to necessarily uh, look a gift horse in the mouth with respect to those. High Priestess card should basically make this boss a no-brainer. Uh, what's our tarot card here? The Empress. Alright, I mean, also a, a very good card. And we did get an HP upgrade payout from Judgment there, which made it all worthwhile. I am going to use the High Priestess card. And the D20 can be especially valuable. Oh, come on, Eve, you can fit through there. Uh, the D20 can be exceptionally valuable, but uh, ideally this is something we'd want to save for, like, an arcade. Anyway, uh, we'll drop the High Priestess down here on Gertie. Hopefully that does enough damage. Yeah, that's a non-insignificant amount of damage. Now, unfortunately, uh, everything else that I do is an insignificant amount of damage. I actually am going to, for once, or the first time in a while, I'm going to use some bombs to facilitate this Gertie fight. Why are my bombs not homing, by the way? I guess maybe they were already in range, so the game just decided, why bother? Uh, now I can probably not justify using bombs any longer. That's bad damage for me to take. Uh, dead bird, feel free to stop being such a latchkey child and actually do some damage to Gertie here. Uh, do I want the health? Uh, not as much as I want a good reroll, I guess. Now, we probably did not earn a deal with the devil here, and to be quite honest with you, I'm not sure I totally deserve one anyway. Uh, oh, this is interesting. Okay, so let's pick up the crate. And what do I want here? The fool card, I want a reroll. Uh, I do want to pick up the nickel. I will... Oh, we, we can check on the pill. Okay, I'm going to take the pill, which is balls of steel, which is great. I'm going to take the spirit heart. For once, I'm going to leave the key, and we're going to... Oh, uh, we'll take the bombs too, and then I'll reroll everything else. And we got another spirit heart, another key, and two more pills, which could potentially be very good. That is uh, a nothing pill, and this is a tears down, so uh, I wouldn't necessarily say that turned out fantastically at the end, but that's okay. It, it probably turned out better for us. Uh, and the Empress card we will take with us, and uh, I would say, well, you know, we might as well go check out our. Uh, arcade, sorry, not our arcade, our mob trap room, because now we actually have the opportunity to go inside because our health is full. And we might want to use the Empress card to make it happen, I don't know. It's a red chest, two live bombs. Uh, you know, in hindsight, I'd say that it probably wasn't worth it. Uh, you know what, I'm going to use the Empress card here just to speed things up a little bit. We really desperately need some damage increases. Uh, as good as we are from, like, a consumable standpoint, we're bad in almost every other respect. Uh, you know, <laughs> health is good, I guess that's the only other thing. Uh, but we really would love to trade, and, well, I really would love to trade uh, some of my health for damage at this point. That would be a, a totally cool trade-off of me. 
Now, uh, you know, we're, we're getting kind of a biased viewpoint here because we have the Empress card already, so we're, we're doing more damage than we normally would. This is by no means a one or a lost game. It's still very much in the uh, up in the air. Uh, it's still very much going slowly. And you know, it, it's almost worth it to carry that... Uh... Ah, let's just go down. It's almost worth it to carry the Tears Down pill down. Just in case I get a tarot card, I could then re-roll it with the D20. But, you know, it, what can I say? I've never really been that min maxy of a player. So, instead, I, I would like to keep my sanity by ignoring those minute details and instead focusing on the bigger picture which is a, a philosophy that gets me in trouble a lot of the time but also uh, keeps me sane as mentioned so there's three more cents we will uh, eventually use our d20 to reroll some of these rooms in all likelihood especially once we get down a little uh, further into the game where shops are not going to be as plentiful so money is not going to be nearly as useful but for now uh, with shops providing uh, many of the outs that would actually allow me to win on this run uh, it would be foolish of me to reroll three cents, even though it might seem like it's not a lot of money, and it really isn't a lot of money uh, in real life or in Isaac terms, I suppose. Well, um, for now, uh, it's important, shall we say. So we'll look for an arcade or something where maybe we can make better use of this D20 for now. And believe you me, if you think it's agonizing to watch this at this point because we're doing so little damage, um, try having your, your hands on the keyboard. It is goddamn monotonous. To say the least. And I am taking, again, a, a perfect example of uh, why you want to have damage if you don't want to take damage. Uh, because right now I'm getting hit so often because I can't really clear these enemies out fast enough for my liking. Now this is, uh, this is my kind of room right here. We really need this item room to pay out with some kind of non-shitty item. That is, I, I'm not going to go through the, the list. You know a non-shitty item when you see one. I will be uh, the first person to tell you if the item's shitty when we walk in, and if it's not shitty, praise be to the troll engine, but uh, I, I expect that we will probably find ourselves in, a, you know, maybe a 50-50 chance of getting a shitty item. Let's see. That is uh, Doctor's Remote. Is that- oh my god, I can't believe I got hit there. Is that a shitty item? Eh, yeah, not necessarily. Uh, I would rather stick with the D20, but I'm not going to pick up the Doctor's Remote because if it shows up later, I might want it. And uh, the odds of it showing up later, obviously pretty bad. Which is which is maybe a good thing for us because it's not the best space bar item in the game. And I continue to kind of uh, bleed out damage here like crazy. Uh, and basically, Dead Bird is my brimstone right now. It is uh, keeping me alive, no, but uh, you know, definitely helping me out a great deal when it comes to taking care of these enemies before they take care of me and we are, you know, losing spirit arts like crazy. I would also love to be able to get to a uh, Horror of Babylon, a, like permanent Horror of Babylon state to some respect. Not sure if it's going to be possible uh, yet, but uh, we really need to kind of focus on earning a deal with the devil here or a deal with the angel at the very least. Not that we have much control over it. Uh, we have some, but not very much. What is this? Chariot card. Very good. Uh, very good. I'm going to reroll this, and we picked up a single penny. Is that more valuable than a half red heart? Eh, it depends on what the shop has, I guess. Let's take a uh, free room with the chariot card. All right. Well, that the best laid plans of mice and men didn't really work out for us there, did they? But uh, we can always use a bomb to get over here if there's good items. I could have used a bomb and then the chariot card, but then, you know, it's kind of, it seems like work at that point. Uh, these human popcorns are the most annoying things in the world because it takes me two hits to kill the fly, so I, I barely get to do any damage to them. You can see them glowing a little bit. I think I'm finally starting to break through that hard outer shell. My god. Please, help me help you, game. I'm trying to make you look good so, you know, you can sell more copies, not that you necessarily need it. And you're trying to make me look good so I can get fat YouTube cash and retire to a box under a bridge somewhere in East Manhattan. That doesn't even make any sense. Manhattan is a very lucrative area. That box under the bridge is probably more than my existing rent. But, uh, you know, when you say a New York neighborhood, it makes you seem like a local. So I went for the authenticity on that, you know? Uh, we're gonna finally destroy this human popcorn. And uh, I'm gonna hopefully refresh my commentary. There's nothing there, sadly. Uh, that was yeah, in my brain. There's nothing there, sadly. Now, again, uh, as much as I want to use this chariot card, the game refuses to provide me with an opportunity to do so. Instead, giving me single rooms that are fairly easy to take out, or uh, the chariot just is not worth anything. So, we will probably go to that curse room. All right, well, let's get something useful out of this. Uh, nothing there, and we have entered the boss trap room zone. It's the official industry term for it. You know what? Let's use a bomb here. Speed things up a ton. 
uh, and, and save again a little bit of my mental sanity. You might think that was a bad use of a consumable, but I was starting to get a little frustrated, and if I get frustrated, I'm going to play worse. So I think this was a, a good decision to keep my mental health high. You know, it's not necessarily what's in here, as I, I say as I point to my hands. Sometimes it's what's in here, it says as I use my hands to point to my brain. Now, we have not seen an arcade. D20 not that useful just yet. We have not seen uh, our shop, and, uh, you know, we have been to the secret room, unfortunately, so... It's totally within the realm of possibility that uh, our uh, money situation is not going to be good enough to let us get something from the shop, and that sucks. And we didn't really get a good item from the item room. In fact, we didn't get an item that we even kept, so uh, certainly I would say we're, we're in kind of a hamstrung position right now. This is fucking nonsense, by the way. The amount of damage, there, not the amount of damage, but the quantity of shots that I have to shoot in... Uh, in order to to kill these guys, it's, it's it's out of control. We're just not getting any bones thrown to us as Eve yet, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, live bomb, not necessarily that interesting to me. There's our shop. We will definitely use a key. If there's greed, that might seem like a loss. But if he drops nine pennies and we d20 the shit out of those, uh, then that could potentially pay out with something fantastic for us. You never know. Good trinket. Who knows. Uh, by the way, in case you, uh, are of the J. Smith or Rockley Smile ilk, and you don't know the order of- Oh my god, you don't know- no, you don't know the order of the planets, try remembering this simple, uh, okay, this is good, actually. Try remembering this, uh, simple mnemonic. My very eager mother just served us nine pennies. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, you'll never forget. Or, well, this basically worked out exactly to plan. My very eager mother just served us nine pizzas, in case you're particularly greedy. Okay, we re-rolled the shit out of it. What are we going to get? Two of spades. Doubles our keys. I'm going to take that straight away. Uh, we got a lot out of that. Bad trip was uh, pretty terrible, but that's okay. We also got Pinky's Eye, which gives us some poison damage. It's the slightest, the slightest kind of get for us to have poison damage for the next few floors. I mean, we're 22 minutes into this goddamn video. Uh, remember, I didn't get Mom's purse, so that's probably going to be inaccessible to us for the rest of the game. 22 minutes, 20, 22 minutes into this goddamn video, just double-checking the time there. And, uh, you know, I continue to be doing very little damage. Health is not that good. Certainly, we're not going to be able to fight like a war of attrition over the course of this entire game. Keys are fantastic. Let, let's just give credit where credit's due. Thank you very much, Troll Engine, for hooking me up on the key situation. Uh, but we desperately need some kind of offensive push if we're going to stand any chance here. And it needs to come fast. We're already on the Caves Part 2, and I'm struggling on the Caves Part 2. Not even the Catacombs. Certainly not Necropolis. Uh, that's definitely worth the bomb. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're in trouble, to say the least. So, we're going to be fighting the Fallen. This is, again, uh, one potential out for us, even though it might not seem like it because it's going to be a more difficult fight. So, what I'm going to do here, we definitely have the speed necessary to evade the Fallen, as long as I can plan for these uh, Krampus shots and get the fuck out of the way. I am going to try to use my bomb right as the Fallen is splitting in two, just to double the amount of damage that this last existing bomb is going to do. Obviously, any bit of poison damage that we get is a, a nice improvement uh, that'll speed things up just the slightest for us. And uh, it's going to be a, a tough fight, but if we get Fallen, free deal with the Devil, followed by... Uh, okay, so the my, my plan didn't necessarily work there, but if we get a Fallen deal with the Devil item, which is really good, followed by a deal with the Devil or a deal with the Angel, then uh, we certainly find ourselves in a position where we could reasonably get two half-decent items and uh, improve our chances drastically. Alright, so I got hit twice there like an idiot. That probably drastically reduces our deal with the devil chances. It's all good, though. Uh, all things considered, that's really not that bad of an outcome for the potential payout that we could get here. This is uh, a big one, and it all comes down to luck, to a certain extent, anyway. Uh, we get the Necronomicon, which I will take, but I kind of hate. Uh, and our deal with the angel gives us scapular. Not the payout I, I really thought would be necessary to kind of carry us through here. Here we are, though, you know. Uh, there's, you know, there's gonna be a certain subset of people out there, uh, that are gonna be kind of pissed off that I took the Necronomicon and got rid of the D20. I'm with you, man. Uh, there's definitely situations where the D20 is, uh, more valuable. It, in fact, if you, it, it gives you the opportunity to cheese the shit out of the game. Uh, you're never gonna find anybody who appreciates the value in fucking Isaac as hard as it can fuck the player. Uh, as much as me, but, uh, I, I feel like I just need a little offensive push 
And uh, Necronomicon is pretty much by definition a little offensive push. So we are going to go to the curse room here again because I kind of got to throw everything I've got uh, at the at the wall here. We can't really avoid taking damage there, unfortunately. Uh, I would love to open that golden chest. We're going to need some more bombs. I, you know, if you've been watching the run so far, you know I was kind of. Uh, uh, liberal with my bomb usage to keep my mental health up. Unfortunately, it didn't really pay out the way that I kind of felt like it would or uh, would need to in order to really save our lives. That's okay, though. Because we are still alive now. We are in Necropolis 1. And this is uh, bad for us. It's less than good. Now, I'd just like to take stock and inventory of all the items that we've gotten so far. We have Pinky's Eye, which is really probably the, the best item outside of two HP upgrades that we've gotten. We got the IV bag from the Blood Bank. Uh, we got the D20 a little bit later, which was fine. It actually caused some pretty good situations for us, I guess. Uh, we got some balls of steel pills. We also got a bad trip and a tears down pill. We got five homing bombs in what has been uh, our best or second best item room to date. We haven't bought anything from the shop except the map. Uh, we, we've basically just continue to get subpar items every time the opportunity presents itself. And, you know... That, that's unfortunate. This is not an un, unwinnable game. It's getting there, though. Uh, and, you know, it, it, it's just a matter of whether we hit our escape velocity for Isaac faster than we, we hit our, uh, you know, your dead velocity. Because right now we're, we're definitely being pulled back into the low Earth orbit by the virtue of the fact that we're doing very little damage. Uh, we desperately need to find our uh, item room and shop, and we need them to pay out nicely. I do have the uh, two of diamonds here. Oh, man, that was real bad. And, you know, two of diamonds is, is exceptionally valuable. can give us basically a, a, an extra shop item in this situation. So I'm using the bomb to get access to the golden chest in the hopes that it pays out. Okay, so now, you know, everyone who was like, you should save the D20, that is some fodder for you, for sure. That probably would have been uh, a huge payout for me. So that's a mistake in all likelihood. Now, uh, almost certainly going to take damage here, so I'm actually just going to... Well, I was going to... I took damage anyway. Uh, but I dropped a bomb in there thinking that it would home in and they'd all cluster and then there'd be just a big spider bomb. Thankfully, Scapular has hooked me up here, uh, so death is not as imminent as it once appeared. Quad shot, it's something. Now we desperately need to get our rate of fire up. This is, uh, hopefully not too little too late. Because quad shot is, is really going to hook us up, there's no question. We are going to have Necronomicon for this boss fight. Not as, uh, valuable as it might sound, but might help us do a little bit of damage at least. And uh, we know where our shop has to be. And now we're going to have like 54 cents when we use uh, two of diamonds. Cool by me. Uh, probably shouldn't have taken that, to be quite honest with you. But who are we fighting? Okay, we're fighting the bloat. Uh, or just bloat, I guess. And, you know, between quad shot and... Oh, so terrible. Between quad shot and uh, pinky's eye, we're going to be doing some damage. Uh, I am going to pop Necronomicon. That did like 10%. Dead bird now, hopefully will hook me up as well. This actually could be the end of our lives. Really gotta focus on avoiding those... Never mind, that's gonna do it. I didn't realize that he did one heart of damage. Bad run, rusty play, but also in particular, uh, just really bad drops. But in any case, uh, feels good to get the first post-Isaac stretch in a long time in. Uh, that was just a recovery, keevery run, shall we say. Recovery plus Eve, what can I say? Master of wordplay, Shakespeare's got nothing on me. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying the series, and I will see you next time.